everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video this morning i hope that you're doing great and as we can see here on this graphic from the national hurricane center the southwestern caribbean is now highlighted for potential developments we're going to be taking a look at the latest that models have to show and uh, what is currently going on as well as the rainfall forecast for today so let's get straight into it and so here we are taking a look at the satellite imagery and we can definitely see all that activity over in the western caribbean and those white dots they indicate lightning strikes and all this will only continue to grow as we head into this weekend and even through next week eventually that area of low pressure could form and we may see tropical cyclone development as what many models are now expecting over in the east there's also some cloud cover and some activity some showers across portions of puerto rico even for the virgin islands as well and some showers may be moving in from the atlantic ocean over in portions of the windward islands from around St. Lucia southward through to Grenada and even across some spots in Trinidad, Tobago and occasionally for Barbados and uh, for most other areas though there isn't much happening this morning maybe some passing showers at the most so let's head on to the rainfall forecast from the Euro model and as we see more of these yellows, oranges and red shades that is indicative of a lot more heavy rainfall being expected so across portions of the western Caribbean especially going toward Central America sections of Mexico Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, uh, the Keys as well, the Bay Islands of Honduras, Eastern Honduras and Nicaragua, and also through Costa Rica and Panama. There may be some periods of heavy downpours as we head through today. And then as we head into Colombia, portions of Venezuela as well, similar story, but for the Guyanas, there is a decreased rainfall chance compared to yesterday. So a whole lot of rainfall activity is uh, not going to be taking place across a wide area. So there may be some spots which experience some very heavy downpours pours at times and others may not experience anything much today may just be a very sunny day for uh, most persons there and then as we head into uh, the vicinity of the abc islands much not expected same story heading from around martinique northward through to anguilla all of the in-between islands not expected to receive a whole lot of rain but there may still be some passing showers at times but uh, especially compared to islands from saint lucia through to grenada including trinidad and tobago and barbados that's where uh, most of the activity within the Lesser Antilles is likely to take place as we head through today. And it's a similar story as we head up into Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as well. For some areas, there may be some heavy downpours and even going into sections of Hispaniola, especially for the Dominican Republic. But things will be a bit on the drier side for most of Haiti, Jamaica, and even through to Cuba and the Cayman Islands as well. Up into the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Florida, a whole lot of activity is not expected as we head through today and now let's go ahead and move on to this outlook from the national hurricane center so as we can see there is a 20 percent chance that we could see development within the southwest caribbean over the next seven days now a broad area of low pressure is likely to form as we head into next week and after which if conditions are conducive enough we may see some development and now let's go ahead and take a look at what the models have to show so first up we've got the gfs let's take a look at this here very interesting scenario for the next several uh, days so let's head out and all these greens you're seeing these colors yellows oranges they indicate the precipitation rate and those black squiggly lines are called isobars which join areas of equal pressure so in the in the case now of a tropical cyclone we want to look for these isobars being in a circular manner and being tightly packed so let's head out there we have the time and as we head into next week uh with the front moving out there is all that activity expected across portions of the gulf coast there is that tropical storm developing and gfs has been consistent about this potentially making landfall in jamaica before moving to cuba the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and interestingly, the model expects that it will be loitering just within this area here, no longer being under the influence of that front before eventually making its way off to the west. A very interesting scenario. So up to the point of the system actually making its way into the vicinity of Jamaica and Cuba, that is going to be a potential track of the system as we head into the latter part of next week. 
as we head on to the Euro model as we head out into Monday of next week. Again, there's all that activity along the Gulf Coast for Texas and even into Louisiana as well. And then as we head into Saturday of next week, going uh, just over a week out from now, there we can see all that activity across uh, portions of the Caribbean. Not seeing anything too defined though compared to previous runs. And Euro is showing that all that activity is going to make its way up being under the influence of a front, some of which will remain behind in association with that area of low pressure as we're seeing there and that is the end of the latest euro run let's go on to the canadian model now so there we see all that activity offshore which would have been what made its way from the gulf area and then as we head into the caribbean there we see all of that increase in moisture and that area of low pressure then as we head out into saturday there we can see it not too defined but making its way up into portions of jamaica and all that activity extended elsewhere across cuba and even into sections of Hispaniola before it eventually makes its way out uh, under the influence of that front. And then we have the icon model. So here we go. This is as we head into next week, go into Sunday, Monday. There's all that increase in moisture across the Western Caribbean, near Central America, and also in the Gulf. And we see that airflow pressure forming as we head to the mid to latter part of next week. And there we can see icon showing as though there will be a tropical storm, maybe a strong tropical storm approaching Jamaica at the time. So that is the general trend here. Areas which include Cuba, Jamaica, and even for Hispaniola, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands should be closely watching this area for developments as we head into next week because we could very well see a tropical storm. And as I said, I wouldn't doubt a hurricane. Once conditions are conducive for the right amount of time, then we could certainly see something try to quickly get itself together. And in terms of the ensemble tracks here going on to Euro, there we can see them showing that general track up to the northeast and even for GFS as well. There we can see that most of these tracks remain within this general area. So that is where we could see something go. Uh, still not 100% guaranteed that, hey, this will be developing. I mean, it's, the area has just been highlighted with only a 20% chance, which is expected. The chance is not going to immediately be super high. But once that area of low pressure forms and it is taken advantage of its opportunity to develop, then the chance will continue to increase for it to actually become a tropical cyclone. Next name on the list for the hurricane season is Vince. So let's see if Vince is going to be forming next week, closing off the hurricane season of 2023. Not to say that there won't be development afterwards, because that is very much possible as well. So we'll definitely have to keep our eyes out there. And of course, guys, I'm here to keep you posted as always in terms of what is going to be happening. So stay tuned for my upcoming updates. And that is it for now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.